Hey everyone and welcome back to the vlog. My name is Kaylee and today I have my friend Deborah. Hey. Moana Kese. I just learned that so I'm You did great. I know, I did, <laughs> I did it, I did it, I did it. If you have not subscribed yet to this channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the red button below. Do it. And we are gonna do something fun. We're doing our dating series and we're gonna talk about things that girls look for yes. in guys. Yes. So we're gonna do some fun ones, we'll do some serious ones. Just know that this is our opinion. You don't have to have the same opinions as us. That's true, yeah. Right. So, Deb. Yeah. Why don't you start us off? What is the, like, let's go superficial first. Like, okay. what is like the first thing, like when you see a guy, Oof. what do you, what do you, what do you see? What do you look for? So I'm all about the upper body. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. right. So like yeah. some good pecs and some like really good like back muscles. Okay. Like latissimus dorsi, if I can be specific. Like if they're just like, if I can see your traps down okay. to your shoulders, I'm like, wow, that's a strong man. Okay. I didn't even know that word. Nursing major. Okay, great. Yeah. So we're just, yeah. That's, That's what awesome. your back muscles are called. You want somebody that could, like works out. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, someone's in the gym. Okay. You know, I used to be an athlete, so I kind of still work out. Yeah. But yeah, would like someone that's strong. I love it. I love it. So I'm a little bit different. I'm more calf muscles. Calves. Yes. So why so? I really it's don't. So different. I it know. is different. It's I love so that. Different. I mean, of course, like eyes and smile like everyone's gonna say that yes but like calf muscles i think maybe because my brothers played soccer and i like soccer players have good calf muscles like, i do appreciate some good calves yeah yeah so and that's i'm so not, and that's not something like i stare at and it's usually only during the season because like during the winter you don't really see people's calf muscles no you don't see a lot of skin yeah <laughs> so <laughs> just a lot Okay, so uh, another thing that girls look for in guys is it melts my heart like yeah. when a guy like with kids, like how he is with kids. Oh my gosh, yes. like I don't yes. even have to know a guy and I will like see him like with a niece or nephew or like with a kid and you're just like, it just blesses your heart. It speaks so much like you can tell so much about the guy, mm -hmm. just how he interacts with kids. Like, yeah. it's just so true. Like, you could tell they had siblings and they, like, knew how to hang with their siblings yeah. or just, like, love kids. I don't know. I'm a sucker for kids. And so any guy who, like, interacts really well with them, I'm like, oh, you'll be a great dad. <laughs> I'm like, yes. 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 I'm here your, for it. Yes. All of it. That is so true. It is. Yes. Oh. All right. Do you have another one? Okay, I don't know if this fits, but I love accents. I think that, like, yeah. I love accents. A, a specific accent? Ooh. Okay, well, this is a rule of thumb. <laughs> the reality is, like, of course, like, I want a good man. I would take whatever the Lord has for me, honestly. Yeah. Um, but if we can add a little flair. <laughs> okay. She wants some the, flair. Yes, the rule of thumb is if it's not foreign it's boring but that's just for me that's just for I've me i've never heard that it ain't boring it's boring comment below <laughs> if you have ever heard that before or if not if deb's making it up if it's not foreign Probably, it's boring yeah. you know but i'm like open i think yeah. maybe it has to do with the fact that i'm foreign okay. and so i just have a thing for foreign men but accents are just great what about like a southern accent is that foreign? No? Okay. Good good try. I like southern accents. I I do like southern men. They're mm -hmm. like charmful. Like hospitable. Hospitable. Like a yeah. country boy is always a good boy. Yeah. At least from my experience. Yes. Hopefully that's I, right. Okay, so that is kind of like one of the things. He doesn't have to wear cowboy boots all of the time. Please but if don't. he like <laughs> looks good in cowboy boots, like yes. Another weird thing. I'm sorry. I'm like going back to. I love it. No, go all ahead. All like my high school days or even college days. Do it. So like, if a guy looks good in jeans, mm. that's that's a thing. You yeah. Know? Like, 
I don't know if that the root like there's just this like under like undertone knowing thing that like you went to baseball games. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Baseball games were great. So if a guy Yes, I know exactly. You know, <laughs> Y'all, I hope hey, we make it to this video. We're being real. We're being like, real. we're being real. We're yeah. girls, right? Yeah. And so, if a guy looks great in jeans, it's definitely it's a thing. Wrangler jeans, too. Have you ever seen a guy in Wrangler jeans and cowboy boots? I'm from Texas, girl. I'm from Texas. Yeah. Like the low country accent I did. That was good. <laughs> Thanks. I really tried. I really tried. <laughs> okay. So, what about like. A mama's boy like he doesn't have to be like a mama's boy but like how he like interacts with like his mom or if he has sisters yes so there's a healthy like yeah. boundaries like someone has a really good relationship with their mom like um i guess we can say a, a healthy mama's boy yeah will like communicate to like valuing women and having a great respect mm -hmm. and all of that but then i mean i'm unhealthy side of it they don't know how to break away from their mama and yeah. like choose you so if on the healthy side i'd say yes like yes. mama boys tend to know how to treat a woman well yeah from my experience i'm sure there are other experiences out there but yeah. i think i see the way like uh like my brothers are with my mom and it's just like so sweet and like so yes, I, I my think. brothers they spoil my mom. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, hi, your favorite sister. Well, we're gonna move on to more of like the serious things that girls yes. look for in a guy. And of course, I mean, we we discussed this like last week at Connect Group, but a guy that has a heart for Jesus. Yes, I mean that is definitely has a relationship. That's. That is most important. important. I know we were kind of like joking around of things like that we say we look for in a guy, but of course that is definitely the thing that is most important. Non-negotiable. When, yeah, when we're looking for somebody. Yeah. Um, another thing I think is like his leadership qualities. Like a girl wants a guy to be a leader yeah. in the relationship yeah. and to lead you. So and so that's definitely a yeah. big, big thing. It is. Can I add to that? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> Are we going deep? Can we, can let's we go, go there? Deep. Let's okay. just go there. Beautiful. Being a woman is one of my favorite things. I don't, I'm so thankful that I'm a woman. Um, and so like the Bible uses the word paracletus to describe um, the Holy Spirit or to describe um, the ministry of a wife to her husband. Mm -hmm. And in other words, we're called their help mate yeah. um and when you can look at the strength the giftings the instincts and just how we operate as women um to the family to the man um you realize that we come to make things better yeah. for example we are natural incubators like we take seed we multiply it we give it life and we bring it forth right aka children that is a picture of how we yeah. naturally operate right and so um we kind of look at this with either a negative connotation or a positive connotation um but we are called to submit right our husbands yes. are head of the household but the key with submission if we break that down it's sub and then mission yeah well if, honey if you don't have no mission I can't submit to anything, right? So yeah, it's so important preach. for your husband yes. or for that man to have a mission. Where are you taking this family? Because if we're not going anywhere, then I don't really have anything to multiply, to yeah. give life, to nurture. And it's so natural for okay. us to nurture everything that we're given. Mm -hmm. And so you got to love the Lord and he got a mission. Where are we going? Yes. Take us somewhere. That is so good. Okay, so our last one and it's one that I guess could be kind of superficial, but I feel like it's like a serious one too. Yeah. But is a personality. Oh, so important. Yeah. Crucial. I love to laugh. So somebody that can make me laugh. Me too. <laughs> but I mean, I feel like everyone says they're like, oh, he makes me laugh. Like, but just having that personality, even being like, willing to like I mean even you can be like a quiet personality or a bold personality like everyone has such different personalities but yeah. I don't know like yeah, I think the like the if we can describe it in a way I think like your best friend 
Yes. You know, like your best friend gets yeah. you, your best friend compliments you. Like I you love can be yourself around that. Yes. I love to laugh, but like how what makes me laugh and like literally cry laughing isn't what's gonna make you cry laugh, right? Probably not. And so <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm just kidding. Maybe. But, like, you know, personality does matter. Cause yeah. at the end of the day, like relationships are fun. Yeah. Like they should be. Yeah. They have to be. They need to be your best friend. Like, if we're gonna grow old, then like we gotta we gotta be able to hang and hold it down. You have to be able to laugh about like how he doesn't load the dishwasher correctly. Oh, that's real. Mm -hmm. That's real. It is real. Or how like the shoes are I don't know. I'm like meticulous about my closet. So it's like one of those Do you things. You color coordinate yours? Okay, I used to, but I'm like, Deb, that's so extra. Oh, I do. <laughs> I used to. I'm extra. I I, I do, do it by season two. Yes, okay. okay. Guys, we're not, no, I was going to say we're normal, but normal is not a thing. We are authentic and we're real. We are yeah. people. Exactly. And so that's what we're bringing to you today. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did you have anything else to add? I can't remember if I cut you off. No. We were I, talking about I closets. I think we're good. Closet. <laughs> I know. Right? See, as you can see. If your closet's like ours, fist bump. We were late. I appreciate that. Yes. We're not alone. No. There's more of us out there in the world. My mom even trained my brothers to do it. This is really funny. He's probably going to be mad I'm sharing this. But Please like, do it. when he went to college, he like came back and he told my mom, he goes, mom, do you know everybody doesn't like color coordinate their closet? <laughs> but that's like what she did ever since they were little. So they like knew to do oh, that. So he thought everybody did I that. I love that. So, no, yeah. That was, that was that my, was my mom. Like, oh. Well, I have loved having Deb on the vlog today. I loved being here. I really think she's gonna have to come back. We just have so much fun. So Aww. there's gonna be definitely another topic that I'm here for we're it. gonna have to do. But thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe and comment below. Yes. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you next Friday. See you next Friday. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the vlog. Oh shoot, I forgot how to say your last name. <laughs> I like literally panicked. I like saw the camera and I was like, I don't know her last name. <laughs> like I know it, but I couldn't say uh, it. No, that so. was great, great. Where are you at? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Amen, Jesus, bring them on. Edit that out. You were just preaching and I was like, yes, yes. And then I went, totally went blank. So we like the same yeah, thing. Oh gosh. We're sorry. Get your She's husband. a vanilla to my chocolate. <laughs>